Hi, I'm Bedina too, and I'll be telling you why horses <laughs> can't breathe through their mouths. Okay, so first of all, let's see what happens here. You can breathe through your nose. You can breathe through your mouth. You can eat with your mouth. Yummy. And if you really wanted to, you could snort food up your nose. Mmm. Noodle. So how do we do all of this? Well, let's look at this huge diagram of a general animal such as a dog. This is the nostril, which leads to the nasal cavity, and this is the mouth, which leads to the oral cavity. And between the two cavities is this hard bone called the hard palate, which you can feel at the top of your mouth with your tongue. Mm. Further down, there are two tubes called the esophagus, which leads to the stomach, and the trachea or windpipe, which leads to the lungs. In the middle region here, there's a shared area. And there are two very important flaps in this area called the soft palate and the epiglottis. The flaps act just like doors, opening and closing the channels so that the right things go to the right tubes, such as air going to the lungs. But not food. Apple? No. This is what it looks like in most species, such as the dog, the cat, and even us. When we eat, like this apple, goes into the mouth, chew, 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 and our soft palate is raised up, and our epiglottis is lowered down. So then the apple can travel to the stomach. When we breathe through our nose, air, when we breathe through the nose, the soft palate is lowered and the epiglottis is raised so that the air can travel down to the lungs. When you breathe through our mouth, the soft palate is raised and the epiglottis stays so that the air can go down into the lungs. However, it's pretty different in a horse. The soft palate of a horse is much longer than the usual soft palate in all other species. So let's put our soft palate here. When the horse breathes through its nose, as usual, it goes down to the lungs. But as you can see, the epiglottis is preventing the soft palate from going up. It acts like a latch. So if you want to elevate the soft palate, you first have to move the epiglottis down to cover the windpipe. Only then can the soft palate be elevated. That is why a horse cannot breathe through its mouth. It can go through, but it can't go into the lungs.